now there has been a lot of doubts and confusion among students related to this very question the question is addition of nabh4 to this complex the sandwich complex where there is one cyclopentadiene and one benzene uh, and this is iron over here uh, will give so any nabh4 like we know is a good uh, reducing agent right and these are the four given species so i have tried a lot to look up uh, to a, a, a valid explanation to this question but i was unable to find any valid claim uh, the only thing i was able to find was uh, from a, a lecture that was given in uh, nptel it is not a lecture but it's a course module so i was going through that and uh, there i found out that it was written that the sandwich compounds will most likely in all respects uh, obey the 18 electron rule and for them the 18, 18 electron rule is valid and it is extremely stable the complex uh, sandwich compounds for uh, and they follow 18 electron rule basically right so an 18 electron sandwich compound will be extremely stable now if we calculate the oxidation state uh, or oh, sorry the the for with the, the uh, number of electrons whether it satisfies the 18 electron rule or not so we'll see over here this this gives five electron i'm going by the neutral method there are two methods so i'll i'll pre i prefer the neutral method so we have five electrons from this six electrons from this so 11 plus uh, iron has eight electrons all right so it's d64 is two right so it has eight electrons so eight plus five 13 plus six 19 but it has a positive charge so it, it is a 18 electron complex because iron is in plus one oxidation state so we'll count only seven electrons right so six plus seven 13 plus five 18 electrons so this is an 18 electron complex so on addition of nabh4 it will also form an 18 electron complex so if we calculate out of all of these we'll find that this complex over here the last option is an 18 electron complex how because now it's eta 5 so five electrons contribution from this uh, this uh, play uh, this ligand five electrons from cyclopentadiene so 10 plus eight electrons in iron so it, this is 18 electron complex if we calculate for the rest this is third option is 6 plus 5 11 plus 8 19 electrons right this is 6 plus 5 11 plus 8 19 plus 1 20 electrons this is 5 plus 8 13 plus 2 15 and plus 1 16 electron complex so if you see out of all of these options we have only the fourth option as the 18 electron complex so this is the correct answer according to me okay and uh, let's hope for the best the answer key would be about to come the official answer key and i'm hoping the answer is uh, option number four because that's what what is given in the nptl lecture and if you need reference so i'll just write down the uh, the the if you on google if you type uh, uh, sandwich compounds sandwich compounds followed by uh, uh, nptl N P T E L N P T E L right sandwich compounds followed by N P T L and then uh, the first link will would most likely be courses module six it's a PDF file okay and uh, and then if you open uh, if you open this the 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 PDF will open and you can uh, read a lot about them where in the end in the last four or five slides they have mentioned about. Uh, you know uh, sandwich compounds of different groups like one is cyclopentadiene and one is benzene and in fact they have given the example of iron but they have not mentioned a reaction where you know it is being reacted with nabh4 but they have mentioned that a 18 electrons uh, that the sandwich compound is most likely to follow 18 electron rule okay and it is most stable when it's following the 18 electron rule and uh, the the title of the uh, module is cyclopenta cyclopenta dienyl complexes so i'll uh, request you to go through this link so just type sandwich compounds nptl the title will be cyclopenta dienyl complexes and it will be in uh, under the subtitle it will be given courses module 6 and you can open that and read about it it's actually a very informative not just if you want to look at the answer but in general also if you know, want to know about sandwich compounds there's a lot of research that has been mentioned related to sandwich compounds so it is definitely a must read from my side just to improve your knowledge just to gain some knowledge as well okay and um, obviously if you like and uh, like my videos uh, please subscribe to my channel and um, stay tuned for more videos